Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Wednesday morning. Hoping all is well with you out there today, as always. Today, I wanted to talk about a new type of Kratom that I've never had before from a place that I didn't know had it. <laughs> I just tried a white variety of Kratom from Cambodia. White Cambodia? What? So this is the first time that I'm hearing about this. I never knew that there was Kratom coming from Cambodia. Now I've looked into this just a little bit and from the teensy weensy bit of searching that I've done, I've found that there's really not a lot of information about it whatsoever when it comes to Kratom in Cambodia. They have, they have illegal drugs there, but they don't even have a list of those illegal drugs. And, and it says something like, um, I don't know, something like along the lines of, I'm trying to remember it. I don't have it in front of me, but it's something like, you know, all, you know, psychotropic or like, you know, something like that. Drugs or substances are illegal, but it's like, well, it, it, I don't even think that that's super helpful because there's a lot of drugs that they say that they're psychotropic and then, um, they're completely not illegal. And then like, I don't know, it just seems really blurry to me. So anyway, that's one thing. So it's like, I don't even know if Kratom's legal or illegal in Cambodia. I don't think anyone else there does either. <laughs> but I don't know. If anyone's in Cambodia listening to this, and I know that there's like one or two listeners from there, please tell me. Do you know? I don't know. Anyway, so there's a lot of blurriness around that. But all that aside, I've tried white Cambodian Kratom. And so here's my initial thoughts. Um, it's pretty good. Like, it's really cool. I have this weird kind of first takeaway that it's got the sort of weight that I sometimes find in greens, like kind of like a heaviness almost, but then that heaviness is very different than any other heaviness that I've experienced before. So like there's a bit of a heaviness when I take, um, let's just say green main da, and I've talked about that a million times over, but this kind of has a separate type of heaviness, which I've never experienced before. And I think it's even more pleasant, honestly. Like the Green Mang Da is one of my favorite go-tos. I don't need to tell you that if you've listened to this more than once, but there is a heaviness to it that, eh, you know, I could do without, I'm fine with it, but I could do without it. And it's, I don't know, it's just kind of there. This is, it's almost like part of the great, benefit of this is the unique heaviness that comes along with it so like when i first took it i took two grams of it and um in the first minute i felt myself getting this interesting weight you know like this heaviness that i'm talking about but it wasn't like pushing me down it was more like i'm always talking about you know things in visuals so sorry if if you think i'm a little too out there but with green manga the heaviness feels like i'm being pushed down to the ground and it's nice but it's like there's some weight on my shoulders with white manga it feels like i'm floating down to the ground and and landing you know right on the launch pad as a as as plant like you know touchdown <laughs> um not in terms of a football but in terms of a rocket ship 
hopefully you do that anyway it it's like touchdown it's like coming down at the the rate that you want to almost floating down in a way and and coming down to the ground and then landing and there's a bit of give to it and you really settle in but it's not like a weight on your shoulders that's pushing you down to the ground and you know making sure that you're staying there and that's the only way i can describe it and it's really pleasant it's like a nice pleasant weight to it now that aside there's a there's a good bit of energy that i'm getting from it i'm kind of feeling a bit uppity um i don't feel distracted at all which is nice so it's not like just pure energy wherever it goes it's like it's you know calming soothing to the point um controlled but really nice and pleasant i don't know it's it's like i had no idea there was even such a thing so this is a whole new frontier for me uh, i'll be interested to hear what you all think and what experience you've had you know with any cambodian type of kratom before i don't know any any specific types other than that this is a white variety from cambodia so i'm gonna have to do some more digging myself all right everyone there you have it that's our wednesday little check-in we'll be back tomorrow and hope you're all doing great thanks so much for listening bye-bye